Welcome everyone, I'm Hefei with Xinhua News Agency. Now I'm at the Red Dot Design Museum in Xiamen, China. This is the third Red Dot Design Museum in the whole world, exhibiting a large collection of world-class design products as well as award-winning objects. And joining us here today is Yulia, explainer with the museum. She will lead us into the world of design and help us appreciate some of the best works here on display. Hi Yulia, let's say hello to our audience online. Hi, I'm Yulia. I'm from the branding department and today I'm happy to show you around at the Red Dot Design Museum Xiamen. So let's start our journey, shall we? So this exhibition is designed uh, by the founder and CEO of Red Dot Design Award and it's called the Form of Success Design as a Cooperative Strategy. So now we are at the entrance of the main gallery on the first floor. Uh, as, the, as soon as I get in, I see some chairs and also a stroller. They're made of different materials and I believe serves different functions. So why are they placed in such a conspicuous area? Um, so this exhibition is meant to educate. It's like a 3D book. And the very beginning of this chapter, it tells us what is design. So we see these chairs and things we use from childhood to an old age. They are so common in our life. And design is actually everywhere. Um, you can see the stroller right here. It can be folded into a um, package the size of a handbag in a few seconds. You just simply press wow. this and it will be folded. Ah, uh, that's cool. Yeah, you can try it's very light when it's folded. And this actually entered the um, 2014 uh, Guinness Book of Re World Records. Mm, yeah. May I have a try? Yeah, sure. You can lift it up and try the weight. This one is very light and I can easily lift it up with just one arm and this is a design very considerate to parents. So right over here are some display boards and I believe the museum certainly has some ideas that it wants to convey to its audience, right? Uh, could you please illustrate on these? Yeah. So eating is always an um, important part of our life, right? And um, taste uh, of the food it's actually decided by which part of your tongue touches the food first. You can see this picture right here. It shows which part of your tongue is um, controlling which kind of taste. And we have some examples right here. Mm -hmm. um, here are some wine glasses. Mm -hmm. Let's go over there. Yeah. The form, the diameter, and the cut are different so they are designed for different wines and um, these shapes decide um, uh, the taste of the wine um, which form is best for the taste of the wine and this example is interesting you can see the edge is bended mm -hmm. so it will direct the wine to the tip of your tongue and this is the be uh, best for red wines with high acidity and moderate tanning. So uh, it will balance out the high acidity. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. I, I didn't know that the seemingly simple design of wine glasses can actually uh, influence the savor. And we are walking, now we're walking down the aisle and right in front of us, I can see a very awesome BMW motorcycle with golden decorations. It looks uh, attractive in appearance. What does it tell us in design? So um, this part of the exhibition is telling us the best brands in the world, they have put design as a priority in their business strategies. Mm -hmm. And BMW is a perfect ex example. Um, when you look at this motorcycle, it naturally brings together all the classic BMW um, elements. So when you see it, you will recognize it as a BMW product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, oh, we also have a BMW bicycle later on in our exhibition too. Oh, really? We we wouldn't miss that. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, Yulia, you just told us that uh, the art of design lies in our everyday life. I'm curious that uh, for the purpose of, s of serving the mass consumers, uh, what is a uh, good design? What qualities does good design have? Okay, so we have four uh, factors that decide whether the design is a good one. The first is function, second, seduction, and third, use, and the fourth is responsibility. Is there any objects here that example, uh, exemplify such qualities? Yeah, the sewing machine right here actually is a perfect example. Um, first of all, it works, so it functions. Mm -hmm. And secondly, this screen, this user interface is very easy to use, easy to understand. You know, um, traditionally sewing machines don't, they don't have like a, a screen like this. And also the appearance is attractive, um, especially this color. Uh, I think girls will like it. And um, speaking of social responsibility, uh, we have an example right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can take a closer look. Can you guess what, what this is? Uh, I guess it protects the leg. Mm, it's actually a prosthetic leg cover. Oh. Um, so traditionally, prosthetic leg is a very slim stick. And when the disabled wear long pants, the trouser leg will look so empty and it will potentially hurt the feeling of the disabled. But this solves the problem because the shape is designed just like the body shape. Yeah. And um, it won't trouble the disabled and it will give them more confidence. Yeah. So a uh, good design also have a human touch. And in this case, uh, that is to uh, have more convenience for the disabled. And now we're entering the next section. And I believe uh, this one tells us about the product and the price. Um, okay, so uh, traditionally companies in China, they will think design is a cost, but actually design is an investment mm -hmm. since design brings us uh, added value. And you can take a look at the steel wire over here for 12.5 kilograms it was 43 um, RMB. But after design, the same amount of uh, steel wire, after design, this chair was 3,024 um, RMB. Wow, so, that's a huge difference. Yeah. And another uh, very well known example is Lego. Mm -hmm. Same material, but uh, after design, it brings huge added value. All right, let's go on to the next section. And you just mentioned about the BMW bike, right? A yeah, bicycle, and I can see it right yeah. in front of us. Uh -huh. And uh, this new section is very rich in color, huh? Mm -hmm. And I can see that one specialty that this, uh, this area has, but others don't have, is that it has a screen yeah. that is rotate, uh, that is looping a uh, video. And I believe the man that uh, the video shoots about certainly have some connections with the display here, right? Yeah, this person, Hartmut Eslinger. Okay, so you probably don't know him. No. Um, yeah, he's the founder of Frog Design, but you probably don't know Frog Design either. Either, but you should definitely know the product he designed, the MacBook. So he worked with Steve Jobs, and they were thinking, why does a laptop have to be always uh, ugly and heavy and in color of black and gray? So they were thinking, why not make it beautiful and light? Mm then they finally designed the MacBook. Mm. Yeah. And right at the corner, I see uh, Mercedes-Benz headlight. What, uh, what does it tell us in design? So in the past, these many types of lights um, are hard to be put together, but now they are all in one. And also one specialty about it is that it, um, the light can detect the movement of the steering wheel. So 
it moves with the direction of the car and then you can see there are some buttons right here you mm -hmm. can actually try one of them and just press it and it will show different type of light here oh yeah for example this is the welcome light mm -hmm. uh, indicator drl light yeah mm. So in the past, like we have different lights for lower beam and higher beam, but now we have this all-in-one design. And I believe this one uh, is probably some milestone in the development of headlights for automobiles, right? Yeah. Um, uh, this area, oh, yeah. Uh, this, this area, area is wider in space, right? And it is for what? Um, so this area focuses on interaction, user experience. Mm -hmm. We can take a look at a very special table right here. It looks quite ordinary to me. <laughs> <laughs> but what's special about it is that this button right here, um, you can pull it or press it mm -hmm. and the table will move. It's for a different height of uh, different users. And also this button right here, it has the memory function. So it will memorize the height of each user and the second time you use it, you can just easily press this. Very interesting. It's like the whole family can use the same table. Yeah. And what do we have over there? Okay, so drones are so popular right now. And, uh, but this one is, is different from other drones. It's a drone for education. Um, you can see it's made of seven identical size uh, modules, mm -hmm. and including a main control module and six power modules. Uh, and they are easily assembled together by using magnetic. You can try one of these, just, yeah. So, so, they, so we can dis, disassemble these yeah. modules, right? Yeah. And, and, and these things, uh, the material feels like foamed plastic to me. Yeah, it's a lightweight uh, foam padding that is soft and resistant. So uh, even if it falls out from the sky, it doesn't broke. And um, also, it's very um, safe for operation, even for children. So even if it falls off, it won't hurt anyone. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, Yulia, uh, I very much like this museum, and I'm curious to know that uh, why is the third museum uh, built in China, in Xiamen? So China right now is experiencing a reform since we don't want made in China only, we don't want manufacturing only, we want uh, intelligence, brain work, and we want our products to be designed in China. So design is, is becoming more and more important, uh, especially industrial design. Um, so this can help industrial upgrading. And also as the quality of life in China is improving, consumers do not only uh, look for functions, they look for beauty and innovation and design the products they buy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. According to my knowledge, uh, the museum opened just around three months ago, right? Uh, you must have received some visitors from all over the world. Yeah. Do they have any comments for our museum? Oh, we receive so much positive comment. Um, they they think this is a milestone mm -hmm. in China, and uh, the, especially these exhibitions right here, they have very high educational value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like these lights. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, in the past, lamps, lights, they are um, the shape of them are limited to. Um, certain kinds because of the shape of the light bulbs. But thanks to uh, the invention of new materials, these lamps right here, they just use several acrylic glasses and then it's able to create different contours right here, which is highly aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And more and more new materials are being used in our products.
I believe some of our, our viewers have just joined us and we are at the Red Dot Design Museum here in Xiamen, China. Um, I, I don't know how our how many of our viewers know about this museum? I think some of them probably are puzzled and they want to ask you questions like, uh, what is Red Dot Design Award? And what does it have to do with our museum? Can you brief us on these? Yeah, um, so Red Dot Design Award was founded in Germany in 1954. And every year we receive uh, the re the work receive more than seventeen thousand pieces of work from seventy countries all over the world. It is one of the most prestigious, influential design award globally, and also winning a red dot means um, a well earned recognition of high design quality. And um, we have three competition categories for this uh, Red Dot Design Award. We have uh, product design, communication design, and also the third one is co uh, design concept. And the first Red Dot Design Museum opened in Germany, and then the second one opened in Singapore. And now the third one opened um, right here in Xiamen, China. Mm. We're very lucky to be the third country that hosts a Red Dot Design Museum in the whole world. We can go over the um, escalator right there. All right, yeah. so we're heading to the second floor, right? Yeah. And later on, you will see my favorite part of the museum located on the second floor. So what do we have on the second floor? So or you want to save the trick? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you later when we get there. OK. right over there. Mm. So we're heading to the second floor. Wow, it looks wider and looks different from the first floor. Okay. The moment that coming, I see a, a word space in color red. Mm -hmm. So it's a space, right? Yeah, this is called space. Um, and this is a very special part of our museum. So right over there is red, the first uh, Red Dot Design Library. It has a wide collection of books and also our uh, Red Dot yearbooks. And I want to show you this LED light right here. Mm -hmm. It's actually a ah, book. It can and be folded. Yeah. And when you lift it up and open it, ah. it's a light. Also, you can bend it like this mm -hmm. so it can stand on the table. Interesting. Is that an award-winning object? So everything you see here is an award-winning product. Mm -hmm. So downstairs, we can only observe, view the um, award-winning designs but here you can actually uh, touch it use it and experience it mm -hmm. these sofas and the um, chairs and also this uh, spinning uh, bicycle right here they are all award-winning products mm -hmm. and we have coffee machines right uh, so these coffee machines and even the um, mats, they are award-winning. Interesting. And, and these machines use capsules. Um, you can choose whichever flavor you like. Mm -hmm. And you just simply put the capsule in and press the button to choose if you want espresso or regular coffee. Mm -hmm. And then it's done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very easy. And also we have um, 3D printer for uh, designers to print out their designs and also we have a photography studio 
Um, so after they print out their designs, they can go over there to take a picture of it. And we even have a, um, a room for uh, people to take short nap so they can restore their energy and continue their inspiration, their work. Mm -hmm. Now I understand why it is called a space. Yeah. It's a place where you can really uh, read and talk, uh, have a rest and do your design work. Yeah. So outside the space, we also have other galleries, huh? Mm -hmm. So what's special about this gallery? So this gallery uh, on this uh, second floor is different, but in a way, it focuses on contemporary Chinese design, mm -hmm. but it's also composed of our award-winning products. So you can see these uh, bicycles right here. Uh, from the very beginning, it, the bicycle is only with very basic features, mm -hmm. but as time goes by, we have electric bicycles, and now we have sharing bicycles. So as time evolves, design evolves. Yeah, and I think uh, not only the form of design involves, but take the mobile as an example, it also is a revolution of how people view the use of the usage of bicycles. It's yeah. the spirit of co-sharing, right? Yeah. And we have a product right there that I really want to show you. China right now has so many good designers and uh, so much potential. It's the matter of keeping that energy going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the product I want to show you. Sure. It's. Can you guess what this is? Uh, I have really <laughs> no idea. Hard it to looks tell, like right? looks like a phone holder or um, something. Yeah, uh, it's it's a speaker, and you can put your phone right there. In the middle. Then, yeah, in the middle. Uh -huh. And then it's. You can see it's a uh, shape of a bamboo, and the material is ceramics. And uh, what's special that, about it is that these Chinese elements are um, well thought mm -hmm. since um, ancient times. China used ceramics for creating um, traditional musical instruments, mm -hmm. such as our traditional instrument xun mm -hmm. uses ceramics. So at Yulia, we have so many wonderful Chinese products and, and, and Chinese design ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm curious to know that does the museum uh, has any plan to further promote the role that China plays in this area? Yes, yeah, so we want to be in design thinking hub. Mm -hmm. We want to bring out good Chinese designers to the world and also good international designers uh, into China. So it's like a resource exchanging place. And also we have expansion plan in other cities in China, such as uh, Northern, Southern, Western, Eastern China, and also Central China. Uh, so guys, we, we have seen uh, planes outside the window on the first floor, but on the second floor, we have a real plane just inside the room. And right. it looks like it's inviting us to come in for a walk. Yeah, so this exhibition is called A World View. And this is China's first generation aviation cabin. Um, we have photos taken by a famous Chinese brand, Joan. And uh, this show is one of the best brands in the industry. And it's from China, right? Yeah. Uh, so before, we can only view the world through the small windows of the cabin. Mm -hmm. But now, thanks to drones, we can uh, view the world from a different perspective, which is the bird's eye view. Um, And uh, these photos right here, very compelling, right? Also, this airplane concept um, is actually to connect designers and bring them together. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, 
we want to create a spirit of inspire, uh, connect, involve, and support. So that's one of the reasons why we choose the location at the airport.、Mm-hmm. Um, we want to be again a design thinking hub、mm-hmm. and a platform. I see some people right over there. What is that area? It's、um, the Red Dot Design School. We have some classrooms and meeting rooms over there. So、um, the school aims to boost urban innovation, industrial upgrading, and also cooperate、um, transformation.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, so uh, from our short tour, we have known that the Red Dot Design Museum in Xiamen is not only a Headquarter of world-class, smart and exquisite design works, but it also allows its visitors to, to actually feel and use these very smart designs. And what's more, it's also a place for people in the industry to communicate and share thoughts. So,、uh, thank you for taking us on a very wonderful tour, Yulia. We appreciate your efforts. Hey, thank you. So,、uh, for those who are really interested in what we have here, do not miss the chance to pay a visit by yourself. And、uh, th- thank you for taking the time with us. And I'll see you next time.